A car travels at a constant speed of 50 miles per hour. The distance the car travels in miles is a function of time given by d of t is equal to 50t. Find the inverse function by expressing the time of travel in terms of the distance traveled. All right. So um, here's the original. This is actually much easier than you might think. This is the original function. Okay. Now, what does d of t represent? It represents just the distance, right? And this is just saying that the distance is a function of time. So as the time changes here, when and then you multiply it by 50, you're going to get the distance. All right. I, I just just call this d. You don't need d of t. Just call it d. Okay. Just call it d. Now, this formula will tell if I know the time. Pretend the time is zero. What's the distance? Well, zero, right? It didn't go anywhere. Pretend the time is one second. After one second passes, you're going to multiply by 50. So what's the distance? Well, it'd be 50, you know, miles. Okay. Oh, actually, sorry, T is given in hours. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say, does it say that anywhere? Um, no, it actually doesn't, but I have to make that assumption. Oh, no, it does. I'm just, okay. Apparently, I can't see. It says, it says. So T represents hours. Okay. So if one hour... If you're traveling 50 miles an hour after one hour of travel, how many miles are you going to travel? 50, right? After two hours, how many miles? 100, etc. So now it's asking, okay, great. So we understand that. Now it's saying find the inverse function by expressing the time of travel in terms of the distance travel. Oh boy, right? What the heck does that mean? All this means, all this statement means is solve. So I don't know where the F is. Solve, too many functions on my mind. Solve for T. That's what it means. Solve for t, okay? Isolate, isolate t on one side of the equation. So here's the original. In order to find the inverse function, all we're gonna do is we're literally gonna solve this thing for t. That's it, that's it. If you had to solve that equation for t, what would you do? You divide it by 50, right? Both sides. So here's the original. Divide the right side by 50. You gotta do that to the left and we're gonna realize that d over 50 is equal to t. You could make this nice for yourself by just moving them around because we want we like to have the single variable right on the on the left hand side and this is now the inverse function this is now time as a function of distance meaning if i just plug in the distance now i can find the time think about this if you're traveling 50 miles an hour and you know you traveled 50 miles how long have you been traveling well 50 over 50 is one one hour Right? If you traveled 100 miles, what's 100 over 50? Two. Well, that should make sense. If you're traveling 50 miles an hour and you travel 100 miles, well, you travel for two hours. Right? That's it. That's, that's, this is how simple it is. Right? So here's the inverse function in red, and here's the original function. Okay? Now they're saying just call this new function t of d. Okay, great. So they want us to do a little t of d. All right, fantastic. Now it says find t of 180 in interpreter's meaning. So what this is saying is that find t of 180, the 180 represents the distance. So if the 180 represents the distance, right? In other words, it's simply going to look like this, that the time is equal to 180 over 50. All you have to do is do what? All you have to do is do the division, right? So plug it into your calculator. And we're going to realize that the time here is going to be 3.6. 3.6 what? 3.6 hours. Think about it. You're traveling 50 miles an hour. Every hour you move 50 miles. So this is 180 miles. So it makes sense that you should have traveled about three and a half hours, right? Around, somewhere around there, right? A little more. That's it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope that helped. Okay. Please help us out by subscribing if you can and like button, telling your friends. All right. We appreciate your support very, very much. It means a lot and allows us to keep uh, producing what we're producing for you. All right. Be well.